continuing with the tilt wheel steering column project. We're at a decision point here on this car. We know that the sheath is separated at the upper end here and we know that we have uh, turn signals that operate everywhere except uh, in the upper max tilt. So we could leave it like that and just not drive an upper max tilt. Or we could get into the disassembly of the, the head in order to remove the cable and attempt the repair. And I believe I am going to attempt the repair. So the first thing we need to do is remove the turn signal stock and the tilt stock. They just unscrew. And then we have a tool which slips inside of this collar and then you can pull this collar off and that will give you the access that we need to release the cable. Here's the puller installed. Now we just crank down on it. It doesn't take much, it's just this is a press fit. And that'll off she comes. And there you go, there's the there's the collar off. Which now exposes the head. And this is the turn signal mechanism. That just pulls right off. It, it pivots here. And that will get us where we need to go. Down in there. This is the turn signal mechanism. You see this thing here that fits in that boss and that's where you get your pivot motion and that's the receiving screw for the lever. And you see the orange flag and the Phillips screw. That is the end of the cable. We need to release that. And here is your cable removed. You may want to, well, you're going to have to uh, get this collar loose. There's either two screws in the base or one screw depends on how they did it. This one has two, the other one has one. I have the steering column also loosened and dropped down. Then you can withdraw the cable down and out. And now you can work on it. So, you're going to, going to want to remove the flag from this end because the pieces of shrink tape are going to have to be installed on this end since they can't get over that bend there. And clean the whole area with alcohol because you want to get as good of a bite as you possibly can on this stuff. Now the, the smaller one I'm going to have to slit, but the larger one will then go over, form the seal, and it'll melt into the smaller one. You'll see. There's the smaller piece slit. There's the larger piece. And now we just slide this up and onto the collar. 
then we apply the heat. And there is the heat shrink repair. The way to test it, of course. Now I've got to put the flag back on. There is an orientation to the flag. When this end is like that, the flag down here should be straight up. A helpful hint on installation. This is the horn ground which runs down through here and then has there, see it? There, the black wire there which runs down the shaft and then out to the ground. Well, it'll want to get tangled in your tilt cable. You don't want your horn ground getting tangled in the tilt cable. So when you're threading this back up and through, keep a watchful eye out for where your horn wire is. Otherwise, you'll have to take it apart and correct things like I just did. But hey, if I was good, I wouldn't be doing this. Well, it has taken quite some time to reach this point. So here is the column in the full down. I have left, I have right, and they lock. Let's go up. Yeah, we'll go just go up to full up. There's your right. It locks. There's your left. It locks. And it works. I've been talking about it locks. Well, I, I've been chasing that for the last couple of hours. This is the new Bowden cable that I didn't use because it's too long. Well, when I put that uh, heat tape on the other one, the heat caused the plastic end to grow just slightly. I didn't notice it. But then the loop would not go down far enough because it hit the piece of plastic. When the loop won't go down far enough, you won't get right lock because This is where your locking is. I wouldn't have guessed it, but so I, I removed this cable and I s took a knife and I just got a little bit of that plastic out of there so that I could pretty much uh, compare to this, you know, distance to distance. And sure enough, that was what I needed in order to get lock. We can now button it up.